It looks like we might have a release date for Crimson Desert, finally. The new Blue Protocol Star Resonance game, the Chinese version that is replacing the Japanese version that is shutting down, has some gameplay that we can take a look at. And admittedly, at the same time, I did scroll down and take a look at the comments, and it seems as though people are claiming they are stealing assets from other games. Stealing assets from other games, so I... <laughs> Yeah, that uh, does not bode well for Tencent, China's version of Blue Protocol. Now, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the little bell notification, that way you remain up to date with every single thing that I post, and I post daily. Do not miss out. Let's start this off with Crimson Desert. This is a new open world adventure from the creators of Black Desert Online. It is an action game that we are all looking forward to. This was supposedly the MMO sequel, prequel, spin-off to Black Desert that turned into a single player game that implemented a multiplayer functionality somewhere down the line that's kind of like a Witcher game and yeah. <laughs> I'll play details have emerged about the game's world, story, and gameplay since that fans want to know the Crimson Desert release date. Crimson Desert's an upcoming single player fantasy world game the, in the veins of titles like The Witcher 3 and Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been a long time coming with this gameplay reveal back in 2020. Yeah, it is. That has been a very long time. The ARPG is scheduled to be released in the second quarter of 2025 for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series XS. According to a report by Inside Korea, the game was initially targeting a second quarter 2024 release window, but is eventually delayed to 2025 alongside the studio's multiplayer creature collecting open world game Dokovi. Oh, oh, this is that delayed to 2025 alongside Dokovi. Does Dokovi have a confirmed 2025 release date now? Huh, that is interesting. After years of silence, are they actually releasing in 2025? Huh, I guess I'm gonna have to look into that more. Either way, second quarter 2025 for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series XS. This is great news for anyone that has been eagerly looking forward to playing it, like myself, and I'm sure all of you that are watching. Fast-paced combat, over-the-top action, over-complex role-playing scenarios, open, vibrant world, lots of side quests too. You can find mythological creatures, taking beautiful vistas. I haven't really noted anything about the story because let's be honest, Black Desert's story was absolute trash and they're probably not gonna be able to make this one really much better. Better. Now concerning Blue Protocol. Now I'm gonna mute this because I don't know if they have rights to use this music or I, honestly, I don't even know if I have rights to use this music. Uh, the original channel that uploaded this is VXSG. I will include a link down in the description in the pinned comment specifically to this video. If you wanna go ahead and check out the entire thing yourself, if you wanna go ahead and support his channel, you can subscribe to his channel. He, I'm sure, will be posting follow-up Blue Protocol Star Resonance footage gameplay in the future. This might be another content creator to look out for if you're interested in the game. Now, the comment down here states at seven seconds, it's literally Zeta's animation from Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. They're stealing assets from other games. Now this is the Quinlong Knight, which uses a spear. So this bit right here is where he believes they are stealing assets from. Now I'm gonna full screen this, so you guys can get a, a better look at the animation in specific. And we can see whether he, whether the comments in the description or in the comment section are legit or if they're just taking things out of context. Here is Zeta's gameplay in specific that they believe they are ripping assets from. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, I can see it. I can. I, yeah. <laughs> You would have to be absolutely blind. I'm sorry, but you would genuinely have to be absolutely blind to not see the leaping back, jumping down, leaping back, thrusting into the enemy animation, to not see that as a blatantly obvious rip. That is 100% stealing. But at the same time, like, let's be honest, they, I don't think Grand Blue Fantasy Relink has ownership has copyright has trademarked that like dragoon jump down thrust animation from final fantasy before we go any further let me take a moment here to thank my incredible patrons over on patreon and my youtube channel members will allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day you guys are phenomenal and i can't thank you all enough for the support now let's keep talking i, I like i know that that is definitely where they probably took this from but 
I'm going to play devil's advocate here and also state that while yes, they probably stole those assets because this is China after all, they don't have, you know, the, the complete rights to be the only game and the only character that uses that specific animation. Let's look at the other classes though. Or let's, let's continue looking at the gameplay though, rather. Because if you guys remember in the, uh, in, in the video I did recently talking about how Blue Protocol is back, I noted that in the, uh, the summary of changes being made to Blue Protocol, combat was going to be improved. They stated the combat's gonna be faster, it's gonna be more fluid, it's gonna be more action-packed. Okay, so this enemy is standing still. This character isn't moving. It's not retaliating, it's not attacking, it's not attempting to dodge. So we can't accurately gauge like whether the, the, the combat is fast and rapid and fluid. What I can state is that all the abilities seem to lock on and I don't believe, based off of the, uh, the healer and the spear user, and, and the mage, I don't believe, yeah, I haven't seen any action combat at all. I've seen only tab target, only lock on, auto lock on combat. And that is concerning to me. Because what I loved about Blue Protocol was that for an anime game, an anime MMO, the gameplay excelled more than any other in terms of an anime game. I think Blue Protocol had arguably the best aesthetic, effects, and combat of the entire anime MMO genre. This is on the other hand. <laughs> like, I don't wanna come off as just blindly hating on the game because I, I said some very positive things in my video. I said, I like a lot of the alterations that they are making, but at the same time, like, <laughs> the, the combat doesn't look very good from something I think that focused on action combat in the original to have it evolve into this is is pretty bad. It's <laughs> it's kind of horrendous looking. Like this kind of this kind of looks and feels and I hate to say it but like a mobile game and there are some great looking mobile games out there that are actually stark contrast to what we're used to. This right here. <laughs> and, but at the same time, okay, like I will also state, I'll be honest with you guys, this is early test footage. The combat, the animations, the graphics overall might change significantly from here to where the game actually launches, but I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, these these animations of this combat just aren't doing it for me. I think it actually looks incredibly basic and not at all what Blue Protocol was. I think it lacks that, uh, that soul, that personality, that flair that I was expecting from Blue Protocol after having played so much of the beta test and the official Japanese launch. I don't know. This just doesn't look, it doesn't look like it has personality. It doesn't look like it has life and it feels kind of dead and empty. Even though this is supposedly a, a vast improvement in terms of everything over the original, including graphics, including textures, including world. Now, yeah, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was definitely an asset from another game. There's no denying that. Will they change it? Maybe if enough people actively discuss it, maybe if enough people bring it to the attention of the global populace, but at the end of the day, they don't necessarily need to because they're China and China doesn't care. And I still think this could potentially be a very fun cross-platform MMO, but I also think it could be a horrible cross-platform MMO. Only time will tell.
Hey, hey you, where do you think you're going? Don't you close out of this tab. I didn't give you permission to do that. Sit your ass back down. Click one of the two videos that are gonna be on screen in just a moment and keep watching my content. Keep enjoying my content.